Dr. B, two minute drill. There are more couples who are more concerned of social media comments than the actual spouse. I think it's a waste of time that you are so into the comments that people leave on your spouse's uh, page than you are into your spouse. So one thing I tell couples all the time is that you cannot stop the comments of people on your page. What you can stop is your reply to their comments. But there are too many spouses who are like looking and fishing for problems. And I tell people all the time that if someone's doing something wrong, what's in the dot? Gonna come to the light. What I'm saying in essence is that here you are all jealous, all envious uh, because someone is writing uh, love, uh, whatever, on your man or woman's social media page. I'm saying, sir, ma'am, focus. Don't be distracted. Focus on your mate. Because by focusing on your mate, then it doesn't matter what people do. Or may I advise you something? Go to all my social media pages. You see my wife in every single of my social media pages. Because I'm trying to tell people out there, I ain't playing. I ain't got time. Why? Because I'm committed. Let's not spend so much time on things you see on social media. Spend time focusing on your girl. Spend time focusing on your guy. Spend that time. Instead of arguing, but who's it? But who's it? Listen, now man doing wrong, woman doing wrong, again, don't come to the light. So I'm learning more about uh, Clarissa and Jeremy Brown. Um, a tragedy that happened in Chicago. Hood and her son were arrested and later on the charges were dropped and Jeremy Brown lost his life because of what transpired. As a therapist, there's a rage within the black man that has to be addressed. For Jeremy to hit Clarissa Wood, a total stranger, three times in the face, as if she was a man, as if she threatened him with some physical harm. And what I saw in the video, there was no physical harm to him. And also, my concern is for her son. Her son, under 20, shot and killed someone. Yes, uh, apparently it was definitely self-defense, but just the tragedy. Here is a young man who takes another man's life. May I add another black man's life. And Chicago's quite known for the black on black crime, but as we know as therapists, black on black crime is really based on what's around you. Uh, white on white crime is the highest among white people. Black on black crime is a large one. Black people, Hispanic crime is highest among Hispanic people, so, so, so on. So there's a tragedy here. And there was such a rage that when he saw or well, they started going forward, he could not control his rage. And because he could not control his rage, he lost his life. We have to really come to grips. Uh, we all deal with anger. I deal with anger too as well, believe it or not. But the scripture is very strong. Don't let the sun go down in the wrath because when you do, the scripture right below that says, that don't give place to the devil. Lastly, we are good for pointing fingers at people. May I put the finger back at you to find out what, what, where's your anger at, sir? Where's your barometer at? Because the bottom line is we have to control what's going on inside. Because if we don't control the inside, it'll come out on the outside. With your bipolar self, either get on your medication or get delivered. One minute you're happy, one minute you're triggered and you're sad. You're up, down, like a roller coaster. We cannot continue this. Now, do I believe in deliverance? Absolutely. However, deliverance, if you are not being delivered, you got to get on medication, sir. You got to get on medication, ma'am. I know you don't believe in it, but something got to be done because we can't keep doing this. Or therapy. Yeah. Three options. Get delivered, medication, or intense therapy to rewire your brain because it's unfair. You're in this struggle, sir. Everything triggers you. Everything puts you on a roller coaster. You, 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 I, mean, I mean, it's going crazy. Understand is that the bipolar is what you did and how you navigated in your childhood, how you navigated. So I tell people all the time, what was an asset as a child may become a liability as an adult. That's a bar right there. You went through a lot. I know people don't say, well, man, you're always going back in the past. It's your foundation. If you cut your foot off, unless you get a prosthetic foot, you're going to always walk with a limp. Oh, let that marinate, people. Let that marinate. So a lot of us dealing with things that we haven't dealt with. I had a jacked up childhood. I had things I had to deal with. I had to, I had to overcome through God and through therapy. And thank God I didn't get on medication. But other people may have to. Doesn't matter. The key is you can't keep making your family suffer. Don't be so in love with your pain. That's more that you have love for your family. Until next time. Peace.
Green. Green.